welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to tie a fly called Brischlingen, which is a Paul Krogwall uh, pattern. The hook I'm using is a TMC 811S size 6. I'm going to use white and medium brown craft fur. And I'm going to use Cactus Chanel. I'm using white, unit red. For the tail, I'm going to be using, of course, the white craft fur. Just take a small clump and pull out the fuzzies. And since I don't want a really long tail, I'm going to pull out the longest fibers. Because what I really want is this bottom part because it's kind of curly and wavy and that's what's going to give me a nice flaring tail. Like that. So I'm gonna tie that in. And by the way I really hope that uh, hairline soon comes out with uh, craft fur that's half the length of the craft fur they have now. that would be just great there's a the tail I'm just gonna use just a bit of angel hair a few strands eight seven doesn't matter. Pull them back. And trim. Just a bit more of white craft fur. Again, pull out the fuzzies. And the longest fibers. You don't need a lot, you just need to cover the angel hair. Now it's up to you if you want to have any uh, any kind of uh, anti-fouling in the back. What you can do, you can take the thread and wind it around the tail or you can take some monofilament
and you can tie a small loop in the back Take your threader or what you call it. And pull the tail through. Like that. And that's gonna keep the tail well 99% of the time away from the hook bend. For the body of the fly, I'm going to use cactus channel. The original is using mohair yarn. But I like the flash that I get from using the ice chenil or polar chenil or whatever chenil, as long as it's flashy. You can use dubbing. I just think that chenil is much easier to use. Tie it in well and tidy up. I'm gonna wind just a bit of the channel because you want just a little bit bigger head so you can uh, put some big eyes on it and make it nice and big. For the underwing, white craft fur. Again, the same procedure, pull out the fuzzies and the longest hair. The length of the wing, the same as the whole fly. Again, I like mine really nice and sparse. You can make them nice and fat, but I prefer them slim. Again, some angel hair or any flash that you like. I like angel hair because it's really nice and soft, so it will move just as much as uh, the craft fur, which is, by the way, the softest and hardiest material ever. It can really take a beating. Again, I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit. You can use monofilament thread when you're tying this fly. I use white. 
because then I can just if I wanna color the top of the head the same color that I'm using for the overwing. And let's see the last clump of craft fur is going to be in this case medium brown. The original is using dark brown. But I like this medium brown. I don't know why. I just like it. I also tie these in olive, blue, black and pink. Something for every fish, right? Again, the same length. I'm going to tie this one and I'm going to try to just tie it in with a few turns and spread it a bit over so it covers the underwing. That you can see you get a really nice fishy form. just gonna build up a nice head so it's easier for me to build up the diamond hard layers I'm gonna just moisten the craft for a bit so it gets out of the way. I have super glued the eyes on and I'm gonna take my diamond hard torch in the other hand and if you get a bubble Try and take it out. Which is not always easy. Almost. That's what's good about using a UV resin is that you can just work with it as long as you like and it won't get hard so 3 to 5 seconds Now a proper true rotary vise is nice to have, but not necessary. And when you're using the UV torch, mind your eyes. Because you only got a pair.
I'll just put some more on the top. Wipe my needle. Wipe the bottle and put the lid on. Now the more layers you put on the head the bigger it will look of course. I like kind of that way. And there you have it. Brischlingen from Paul Krogwall. Thanks for watching.